Hey guys and girls, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Python make sure pip's installed which is the package installer we're going to download the whois package query a website to see who the owner is so let's get started so let's go to downloads on python.org we're not going to hit the orange button which will just download the 32 bit so we're going to go for looking for python with a different os for windows scroll down and somewhere we should find a 86 exable 64 uh, executable installer so we're going to download that and once it's downloaded we're going to run it and i want a custom install make sure pip is selected so that's the package installer uh, click next choose where you want to install um, python 2 This was 3.7.0 and install, elevate privileges and just let it run. Okay, so that's uh, Python installed. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a command prompt, cmd, and we're going to run it as administrator. Okay, we are going to navigate to the C drive. So I'm just going to go back to directories, uh, C, and then we're going to go to Python where we installed it, and go into the scripts folder. And then we're going to type install. Uh, actually, sorry, pip install um, python uh, hyphen who is and then just hit enter. So it's triggered my antivirus, it's just checking to make sure it's okay, which it is, and it lets it run. And it's installed the who is package, but it's told me that. My Python, uh, my pip is out of date, so I'm running version 10.0.1 and there's a new version 18.0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop back a directory. Uh, so as I'm in the Python 3.7.0 folder and I'm going to update uh, pip just for future use. So to do that, I'm just going to type in python.exe space and then uh, dash m pip install hyphen hyphen upgrade uh, pip and you can see it says here just doesn't tell you necessarily that you need to use the directory so that's it up Dating my uh, pip install, which is done. So now I've got uh, pip 18.0. Perfect. So we're going to exit this. Okay, and we will uh, use the who is in Python. So we're going to open idle. Okay, so let's import who is. And we'll do our first query. We will Google. Um, sorry, we'll look up google.com using a who is. So we're just going to print who is dot who is, and we want to look up google.com. We'll close that bracket and close that bracket. Okay, so when we run this, it should carry out who is on google.com and we should get some information back. So there we go. So it's carried out the who is request and we can see the registrar, uh, who it's registered with, when it was last updated, creation date. Uh, we can see the expiry date, the name servers, and so on and so forth. Okay, you also see the address. 
Okay, so that's how to use the whois function to query. Um, please like, subscribe and share. Make sure you subscribe because there will be some more videos coming up about uh, scraping data from websites which you may find useful. Uh, any questions, comment below and I'll try to answer everyone who comments. Um, have a great day.